Welcome to Strength of Material Lectures by Civil Thinking and today we are going to solve a problem on actually loaded numbers. Now before I continue I suggest to you to please watch the video lectures in sequence as in the playlist. You can find the playlist on actually loaded numbers in Strength of Materials. You can find the link in the description or you also you can click here so that you can understand better one by one. Now coming to the problem. The problem is on your screen. A steel rod 500 mm long and 20 mm by 10 mm in cross section is subjected to an axial pull of 300 kN. The modulus of elasticity of steel rod is 2 into 10 to power 5 Newton per mm square. Calculate the elongation of the rod. Also calculate the strain induced in the rod. Now we are told we have a rod. Uh, if the rod is something like this, please excuse my handwriting. Okay, this is a rod. Now a load is acting on it. An actual load, okay. Actual load, let the actual load be P. It is actual pull of 300 kilo Newton, right? 300 kilo Newton, okay. Uh, let us assume it's fixed here and the cross section let the cross section is a okay now the cross section a is how much 200 millimeter multiplied by 200 millimeter right two sorry it is not 200 it is 20 millimeter 20 millimeter multiplied by 10 millimeter how much is it it is 200 millimeter square now the initial length ST rod 500 mm long. Now the initial length of this rod is let it be L is 500 mm. This is initial length right. Now when this rod is fixed here at this point it is fixed and when you pull it here of course there will be a strain in this rod okay. Now, now due to this pull when you are pulling this rod at this point there will be an increase in the length okay let the increase in the length be delta l okay now we had to find the elongation of the rod let delta l be the elongation of the rod or increase in length of the rod they are the same thing now we know delta l is p l divided by a e if you don't know about this please watch my previous video lecture on elongation of rods okay or elongation of actually loaded members you will understand where i get this okay now delta L, now P is actual pull, it is 300 kilo newton, I will write 10 to power 3 instead of kilo and it is newton, multiplied by L is the initial length or the original length, it is 500 millimeter divided by cross sectional area is 200 millimeter square multiplied by E, E is the Young's modulus the mo or the modulus of elasticity which is 2 multiplied 2 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 Newton per mm square, right? Newton per mm square. So, what we are going to get now when you will use the calculator, so I will use a calculator. I get delta L to be 3.75 3.75 mm, right? Delta L. E e is equal to 3.75 millimeter okay so we found the elongation of this rod now there is a second question calculate the strain induced in the rod okay let epsilon be the strain now strain is change in length which is delta l divided by original length which is l right now change in length is 3.75 millimeters divided by length is original length is 500 mm right 500 mm now how much is it let me use the calculator so i get strain to be 7.5 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 okay this is the strain and this is the elongation of this actually loaded bar okay so i hope you understand now if you want to download the pdf the pdf solution of this problem is in the description you will find the link there to download and if you have any doubts please comment and see you in the next class thank you